Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Diane here. Uh, I'm back with a quick recycling project this week. Um, I'm still doing the Christmas in July 2022 project. Uh, sponsored or co-hosted, should I say, by Terry Lee at Sweet Pea Papers and Lisa Fisher at Lisa's Paper Lace and Bling. Uh, I wanted to do something that recycled some envelopes. I've received some swaps of napkins because I'm a member of a napkin swapping group and um, I saw the envelopes and I thought wow wouldn't that make great paper to collage on. They came in like you know your standard six by nine like this with the little metal thingy so I you know they would be like this. So I just cut it right here and right here and then I opened it up and where the pages overlapped I cut that little strip off and then I just have this little chunk. So, you know, I, I thought these would be nice to collage on and make some tags or something. So, you know, I love this, this color of these envelopes. And the inside is nice and clean so you can write on it. I just thought that would be so great. So I gathered some scraps up. I have some recipe scraps, some foreign language, music, you know, the basic scraps. And I thought I'd just do a little collage on here and make some tags. Um, so I've just got my glue stick and my little book to glue on here. So it's been a while since I talked to everyone. How are you doing? Let's see how everybody's doing out there in YouTube land. I just love doing, like, ever since I was a little kid, I love doing crafts that, that use recycled items. It's just, it's so fun to me to take one thing and make it into something else. I think that's kind of why I've been so into junk journaling lately, just because of that, oh, hey, this is a thing that was going to get thrown away, but now it's something really cool. I, I don't really know how to describe that, but I just love it so much. I'm kind of saving these little plain bits. I'm going to do some stamping later, so I think I'll use those little plain bits to stamp on. Because we don't want to waste any of our scraps, right? <laughs> Even these ones that don't really... I don't know. Well, I guess what's not interesting to me is interesting to someone else, so I can't say that it's not interesting. It's just not what I'm into at the moment. I did get to go shopping this weekend. I went thrift store shopping and I went on a big old trip. I went to the next town up. It's about 30 minutes away from me. And I just spent the whole day exploring and finding new shops. So that was a lot of fun. I think I'm going to be doing a haul video soon. So you'll probably see that after this, I hope. If you're interested, stick around. Oh, I kind of like that circle. Yeah, I think I'll use this side. So what has everyone else been up to? Did you get your Christmas in July projects done? I obviously am running behind because it's August. <laughs> We've had this uh, project at work we're switching over our accounting software and it has been a bear. But we are in the home stretch now, so I'm excited about that. It is going to make my life easier later, but right now, not so much. glue page. Too much glue on my glue page. And if I get these out from underneath, I'll have a better time. There we go. So 
so you know this, etc., etc. You collage all over it, cut it up in little tags or journal cards. So I've also been wondering, if you don't mind me asking, uh, what kind of videos do you enjoy watching? Do you just like watching people craft? I know that I just enjoy watching people collage or, you know, just make random things. Sometimes I'm just crafting along with them and not even watching what they're making, just listening to them. I don't know. I'd be interested to know what your opinion is. Where do you fall on the scale of what crafts do you like to watch? Um, I mean, I like to watch things that are not paper crafts as well. I like to watch uh, wreath making videos, um, really all kinds of stuff. Okay, my camera is starting to blink at me, so I think I'm going to have to cut this one short. But you get the idea. I'm going to finish collaging on this, trim it up, and then cut it into smaller pieces. And uh, maybe use some napkins or some scraps from the pages I'm using in the in the Christmas journal. But I wanted to show you some of the other things that I made earlier. Where did I put that pile? Right here. So I, I did this with a couple of those yellow envelopes, as you can see. Um, I collaged, and then this is a scrap of paper, and this was a fussy cut from one of the scrapbook pages. I just cut all the fussy cuts apart. A whole bunch of stuff there, so I've just been randomly grabbing them and a little fabric tab at the top and that makes a cute tag i like that one and this one has a whale tail tab and a couple of little uh, die cuts that i had and a stamped piece with a little sewing around it i thought that was really cute and this guy these little elves i found a last year a garland at dollar tree and I picked it up because I had all these tiny little plastic elves on the garland. I just pulled them off and I just thought they were so cute so I stuck them in my Christmas box. So this year I have a project to use them on. Look at that little guy on there. So cute. And this is just a scrap of tea dyed paper that was folded in half. I, was, I said, oh, if it's on there, great. Wouldn't that be cute to stick in a pocket? See, just a little bit of sewing on there. This one has a, a label from a digi kit, and then this Santa came from a napkin. I uh, glue sticked him onto some uh, dictionary page, and then cut him out and put him on there. Thought that was cute. And then this one I liked. I just put this big sticker on there and did some sewing on the edge. It's like, oh, he's done. <laughs> and then this is just a collage piece, and this was fussy cut out of a digital and a little piece of fabric for a tab. So it is possible to to collage on, you know, things that you might think are trash. And those are my cute writing surfaces and cute little decorations to tuck in a pocket. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Again, let me know what kind of videos you like and what you, you think of these kind of videos. I would just really be interested to know. I really appreciate everybody, and uh, thanks. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.